for those of you who use Studio One uh, and you use like Ableton, other DAWs, there is inside of Loop Elements, you get an Apple Loops version. You get an Apple Loops version. And in the Apple Loops version, uh, you can utilize those Apple Loops inside Studio One and Reason and Ableton, uh, different other DAWs. So there's a couple of settings that you're going to want to click when you're using it in uh, Studio One, uh, for instance. And I'll show you uh, really quickly. Uh, here, let me make sure I'm logged in here so I can, uh, so I can, so I can see comments and stuff. So, um, this is what you do. So you create a new song. There's a there is an option. If it's unchecked, this won't work. Inside of Studio One, there's an option that says stretch audio files to song tempo. It's right here, right up under time signature and all of that. It says stretch audio files to song tempo. You click that, you hit OK. Now you have a new section new session. So now, whenever you drag audio in, it is going to automatically conform to the tempo. From there, you will go to Files, you go to Studio One, I'm sorry, not Studio One, but you'll go here, and you'll navigate to your the folder. Or you can just pull them in from the Finder, but I like to do it from the browser area. And so, I can click on any of these loops here, and they'll conform automatically to my BPM. See how these feel together. Let's just duplicate them both. Yeah. Now we could just add the claps in. And just like this, I can build a loop out. Is that a shaky in there? Why not? And then this will time stretch to whatever I tempo I've been. If I move my tempo to 132. saying or if I move it down to 103 so that's how you use it inside of studio one the, the most important thing is I'll go back over here to song setup you have to have this option right here selected that says stretch audio files to song tempo if you don't have that set it's not going to work so now any anything i i add in here is going to automatically conform to the tempo or if i change the bpm to 129 it's going to change that. And this can work even in the in the midst of you creating your own song. So you could be in the middle of your song. You say, man, I really would like to add a shaker here. I really like to add a tambourine. I really just like to add like an element, something like this. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're working on a song and that's all you need for that moment. You know what I'm saying? And of course, there's sound effects and stuff in here that you can throw in. There's so many different ways that you can utilize this and make it into a, a real solid uh, production kit.
So that's Studio One. Let me jump over here and show you Ableton real quick. It's the same premise as uh, Studio One, but, the, but it's a little bit more streamlined in, 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 uh, in, in Ableton because Ableton just makes it perfect for you to like do loops. So you can easily just grab the Apple, like a Zen. When you, when you buy loop elements, you get a folder that says uh, Apple loops. And you can just grab those loops and just drag them straight here into, um, you know, just drag it straight into uh, Ableton. I'm just dragging in some random stuff. I'm not even trying to be intentional. Let's see how this feels. Literally, I'm just dragging files out of the folder. I'm not even trying to be intentional. Grab a shaker. I don't know. Grab this kick. Let's just see what it does. No, it's not going to be like an update. It's just going to be a whole nother pack. And I can vibe with that all day. I mean, I just literally just dragged four random elements out of the pack and just dropped them straight into Ableton and boom. You know, so if you're an Ableton user, you can still use loop elements. You know, even though it says Logic Pro, you can use the Apple News version. If you're a Studio One user, if you're a Pro Tools user, you can do time stretching in there. If you use Reason, you can use any one of those and you can just drop your loops straight in there because it include that loops actually are in the uh, inclusion of the file when you buy it, when you buy it. So you can do any of those things uh, with that when you do it. So I wanted to hop on and I just wanted to show it really, really quick. Uh, that you can you can use loop elements in other DAWs. You just don't have the ability to do the playing, uh, like the actual play on keys. But you do get the the actual loops with it that you can use in any DAW that supports uh, time stretching or warping. You can use it in any of those DAWs.